Tiffany wasn't sure what caused her to wake up crying, but Janet always seemed to know how to get her back on track. Caffeine and sugar. While she wasn't a huge fan of The Chosen Show, she could appreciate the good-looking main characters. A soft nose nuzzled her hand and she looked over to see Mirakai's opalescent eyes. He released a soft snicker, nuzzled her again, and settled by her feet with his head in her lap. Not letting her logical side take over, she began to stroke his soft neck. He purred, as in big cat purr. The group watched two episodes. Tiffany felt a sufficient buzz. I noticed you and Mirakai didn't eat Verna. Tiffany held out the famous box covered in golden green. Mirakai requires meat, and you seem to need the food more than I, Verna smiled. What I really need to know is why doesn't my wand work in your home? Janet snorted. Tiffany elbowed her in the ribs. The delusion looked to be pretty deep-seated, and being an ass about it could harm Verna. I would like some of those hamburgers I tasted yesterday. Haven't had bovine in so long. Merakai stood, looking Tiffany in the eyes. I am kind of hungry. The festival takes a lot of energy out of a creature. Mark stood and Tiffany caught his eye roll. I'll go and get something from the restaurant two blocks down. Let me get you some money. I have a feeling the horned Great Dane will eat as much as you. Tiffany grabbed her wallet, pulling out several bills. That should be enough. She kissed his cheek. Have I told you lately how much I appreciate you? Mark stared at her for a moment before responding. Note lately. Tiffany nodded and sat down. So, what is this about magic? Verna gave a relieved smile. My wand does not work. I wanted to repair your kitchen but was unable to understand the issue. Tiffany thought about her words. The woman who could hover with dragonfly wings, wanted to know about magic. She wasn't sure if this was a good dream or a weird nightmare. Trying to tread carefully, she responded in a neutral voice. Verna, we don't have magic. Yes, you do. I saw a young man on a corner last night demonstrating his abilities. Weak and only worked with a few objects, but I did see it. Ah, gotcha. He is what we would call an illusionist. It isn't magic, more of sleight of hand. It is supposed to look like magic to keep his audience's attention, but mostly he redirects your attention while he does something else. But he turned a card into a dove. That is magic, not trickery. Verna's expression mulish. Shit, Tiffany thought, trying to find the right path to helping Verna. If that was true, Verna, could you not also use your wand? Tiffany pointed to the tiny sliver of wood peeking out of her dress's pocket. I don't know what is wrong with my wand, but it is more than a thousand years old. Maybe it is just worn out. Her chin went up. Why do you believe we have magic? Tiffany settled into counselor mode. I have been using magic since before the enchanted forest was under Britain's rule. I see. And what kind of magic? Tiffany tilted her head to the left, her hands open on her lap, fostering a neutral expression. Oh, I see the problem. You don't know the difference. There are two major categories, white magic and black magic, good and evil. So, no gray areas? Child, please, <laughs> you cannot use black magic for good? Verna chuckled. I see. So you believe you only wield white magic, is that right? Of course. I would never use black magic. It is forbidden. And what happens when you can't wield magic? I am a creature of magic. Therefore, I can always wield it. Please, show me.